Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video we're going to talk about Destination Network Address Translation, aka DNAT, and how it's configured on an edge router. So what exactly is DNAT? Here's Wikipedia's online definition. Destination Network Address Translation, DNAT is a technique for transparently changing the destination IP address of an en route packet and performing the inverse function for any replies. Any router situated between two endpoints can perform this transformation of the packet. DNAT is commonly used to publish a service located in a private network on a publicly accessible IP address. So simply put guys, DNAT is port forwarding. We've talked about port forwarding in a recent video, Let's take a look at how to configure DNAT on the edge router. Okay, so I'm logged into my edge router. I'm on the firewall NAT tab and I'm working in the port forwarding area. And in my last video, we configured this port forwarding rule to pass traffic um, from port 80 onto my internal web server. Let's pull in that uh, image just to review what we did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to configure this port forwarding manually using DNAT rules and firewall policies. So that being said, let me remove this rule and say apply so that we can start from scratch. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come over to the firewall policies tab. And we want to add a rule to our when in rule. Now we did this in that last video as well, but remember I deleted it because we talked about um, auto firewall versus um, not using the auto firewall. So for using DNAT manual port forwarding, we have to actually create the when in rule. So let's go to edit rule set and we're going to say add a new rule. So we're going to put that same rule that we put last week. We're going to put it back now. Allow. I think we just said port 80. Traffic. And we want to accept. And it's going to be TCP. But remember, I said if you're not sure, you could say both TCP and UDP, but it is TCP. And then we're going to come over to the destination tab and we're going to say port 80 for the destination field. And we're going to say save. Once we have the rule created, remember we have to move it up above the drop invalid state rule and say save rule order. Now that we have our rule added to our when in policy, let's come over to our NAT tab so that we can add a DNAT rule. So we're going to click on add destination NAT rule. And for the description, we'll just call it allow port 80. traffic. The inbound interface is going to be E0, which is my WAN interface in this case. Translations. Okay, so the translation address is going to be the internal web server that we want this traffic forwarded to. So it's going to be 192.168.100.10 in my example. And the port is port 80. And here we can select our protocol. Again, we're going to select TCP. And then when we come down to destination address area, we're going to say port 80 for destination port. And we're going to select our WAN interface again of E0. And we're going to say save. Now, you might be saying, what's the difference between doing DNAT versus the port forwarding tab? Because this seems like it's so much more work. And, you know, for the most part, you know, quick and simple, Port forwarding um, could be the way to go for you, as we talked about uh, in that other port forwarding video. If you do the simple port forwarding with the auto firewall, um, you're pretty much good to go. But if you want some more options, like here, if you look on this screen here, you can enable logging. You can actually uh, specify a source address or source port, so you could actually restrict um, this DNAT rule to only certain incoming addresses. So. <clears throat> excuse me, you have a lot more um, flexibility with doing this. Again, you can do it either way. I'm just kind of showing you this way because we talked about port, simple port forwarding in a recent video. So I'm going to, going to go ahead and say save.
And now we have our port forwarding uh, DNAT rule in place. We have our when in um, firewall policy in place. And that's pretty much it, guys. So an alternative to doing the quick and easy port forwarding as we showed you here. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Please like and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.